A lot of the focus, as far as Chandrayaan-3 is concerned, has been on the lessons that we've learned from what happened in 2019 with Chandrayaan-2. Who can forget those heartbreaking images of K-7, the then ISRO chief, breaking down after ISRO failed to ensure that there was a soft landing of the lander part of the Chandrayaan-2 mission. We spoke to Mr. Sivan, who's also actively involved in the Chandrayaan-3 mission, and he tells us about the lessons that he's learned so far. Here's that exclusive conversation with India Today news director Rahul Kaval. I want to start by asking you about the Luna mission uh, of uh, the Russians which crashed uh, uh, very unfortunately over the weekend without being able to land successfully. You know, given what has happened with the Luna 25, which was Russia's first attempt to land a spacecraft off the moon and that ending in failure, you know, would that increase the levels of anxiety of the team in the space center of ISRO at this moment? Does that make you one extra level more anxious? No, it is not so. First of all, uh, Luna uh, mission failure and uh, this one, they are not related. Luna actually that is have its own system its own uh, the sensor thrusters and it may have its own characteristics but uh, we have our own system our own thruster our own sensors which it, it has been functioning very nicely and without any problem and uh, till now we are uh, achieved what we want in a perfect way and i'm sure that this will repeat on 23rd also so we'll get a good uh, uh, landing and uh, we are not getting uh, uh, disturbed by the Luna 25 failure. We are, they are not related, they are not a similar system, they are different system. Okay. So we are confident that we are, uh, we'll be able to achieve without any problem. Could you explain in layman's language the complexity involved in that final <coughs> slow descent? And why is it that most of the lunar missions that have gone wrong over the last few years, uh, including the Japanese and the Israeli ones, have gone wrong just at the last <coughs> stage, it seems? See, this uh, lunar mission is a, a very crucial and I mean, very critical and very complex. And uh, that's what we are calling this, uh, the entire the descent process from 25 or 30 kilometers to touchdown is a 15 minutes terror. This controlled uh, man manner we are bringing to velocity 2 kilometers per second to zero is a very crucial and uh, this zero should be only at the surface of the moon. If it is zero earlier, it will fall like a football and if it is uh, uh, that uh, non-zero at the time of uh, uh, touchdown, Again, it's a hard landing. So that way, this the whole process is a very, very, very uh, that uh, meticulous to ensure that the velocity is to be reduced to zero at the right moment, the time at the right location should be there. That's what we are calling. It's a very, very critical and very complex process, and this call. That's what we are calling. It's a 15 minutes terror. 